Hey, what's good? I'm Black Cinderella. I just wanted to take some time out real quick to um, just record a testimonial and with regards to my journey this far. I'm a recording artist. I'm an MC from out of Alberta in Canada. I have some music on SoundCloud. I released a mixtape named it The Statement. I got two videos on YouTube currently. And, uh, you know, I got my account on little Instagram. Uh, there's about 12 songs on SoundCloud total. But out of the 12, the 10 that's from the mixtape was actually the reason for um, when I initially made first contact with Mr. Ryan Perez. Uh, it was because of the, the um, mixtape that I did create within these last couple years here. So... I'll just to give you a little, uh, just a quick synopsis, a little bit of background on what's, you know, who I am. Uh, in the city, uh, when I, I grew up in Alberta and uh, I was trained in modeling. Uh, I did a few runways. I did a couple magazines and uh, flyers. I did some shoots for. Uh, I did a game show television morning game show uh as a youth as well called kid street it was the red team and we won uh and i was a dancer for two uh youth groups in calgary uh one was the saint lucian association youth group as well as the uh caribbees youth group um, I had two teachers uh, for the Caribbees. It was Jackie and June. Miss Jackie and Miss June. Yeah, they used to cut our ass. And uh, Ryan actually is the son of Miss June. So um, when I joined the Instagram community, I'd say probably about maybe five, six years ago now. Um... I mean, I had a few people following me and I didn't really know who they were because Instagram was, was still very new to me. And when I say I didn't know who they were, I mean, the circle is like this big. So you're like straining your eyes to try to see who is this. And if their page is private, you can't see shit. And me personally, if I was getting on Instagram, I was getting on there as a tool. Like I'm this i'm not just on here for no reason like any any reason i'm getting on and showcasing i better be trying to make some money somehow right so uh being in the caribbees uh is what gave me my exposure to music right because i'm a dancer but more specifically uh the exposure to the stage um, we did a lot of different events around the city, uh, but every year I look forward to Carafest, hence the makeup. Uh, this is where Black Cinderella's makeup comes from, right? Uh, it comes from the background of being a Caribbean descendant and being heavily influenced by my countries right both st lucia and jamaica mixed there's a lot of other stuff mixed in there too but we won't go there so um what can i tell you uh the dancing from when i went to to uh care fest every year you know we've got the stage to go perform on we had the big stage and we had the small stage so the small stage was the hip-hop stage and uh you know we used to get all dressed up you had the best outfits you couldn't wait for carafest to come every year even i couldn't wait to turn 18 so i could go for miss carafest pageant i won that shit too 
Yes, I did. I won best hair, best dress. I choreographed the dance for all the girls. I sure did. Actually, it was at that moment in that uh, time in history when I was doing that. And that was when I remember my dance teachers came to me and they said to me, if there's anything that you ever need, you know, don't ever hesitate. And, uh... Like I said, being able to be at Carafest and have have the um, have the ability to be able to have been exposed to that at such a young age, I don't even think I really understood what a gift, you know, what a gift it was. And I just remember running to that hip hop stage, feeling like I was the shit. Uh, Lady of Rage, I stuck my finger in the sockets. I blew up like a rocket in the markets. Now I cannot stop it. Oh, mommy, oh, poppy, why you envy me? Messing up my creativity. I remember I spit that shit and the crowd went, the crowd went wild. Everybody went crazy. Everybody was crazy. Like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yeah, well, because uh, most people in Alberta didn't, probably wasn't really up on their hip-hop shit. So when I let that belt out of me, I think most people had no idea what they had heard. But I mean, I was just playing homage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love hip hop. I mean, I just love music, right? But you give me, you give me, you give me the opportunity to spit. You you let me go to a studio. Give me some cameras to shoot a video like I'm in heaven. You you ask me, you know, what do I want to do? This is what I want to do. This is what I was trained for. Without even realizing it. That's the part that pisses me off too, but we'll talk about that later. Um... When I reached out to Ryan... Uh, I had already completed the mixtape, I believe. And the reason I was reaching out to him was because I needed, I needed direction. I needed to figure out which way to go. I needed, uh, I needed to hear, I needed some more positive reinforcements is what I needed. Um, and so I, I finished the, the, the recording of the album and I named it the, the statement and I was ready to put it on, on SoundCloud. Um, but I was still building things. I still needed a website. I still needed a press kit. I still needed even a logo. You know, I was, I was in the middle of branding and didn't really understand everything that I was doing. As much as I come from a background of having a management, um, a managerial position in most of the most of the jobs and uh, that I had worked in the past, you know, I kind of understood. I kind of understand. I kind of understand uh, the process. I kind of understand the assignment. Um, so I reached out to Ryan. He graciously answered me back. And at that point, uh, we we scheduled a meeting and, you know, we really got into it. He sent me a couple links and gave me some do's and don'ts of his own advice. He made me completely aware of the fact that he's not telling me what to do, that I can do, obviously, whatever it is that I feel most comfortable with. But, you know, with that said, uh, I don't know if Ryan knows, but... It's even with the don'ts that he put into our conversation is how what formulated the next year that came following. Um, I had completed um, a course with one of the links that he had sent um, just to kind of give some perspective. Uh, I started with the Instagram course because I was familiar with Instagram, so I just figured stick with what you know. So I had completed a, uh, an Instagram course. Uh, it was called Born on Instagram. And with that, I got a very good understanding of 
how these engines can work for me uh, as far as advertising was concerned and uh, really getting to a place where I could start to generate some cash, right? And make everything make sense and make it work for me. Now, again, this person made it very clear to me that I do not need to spend not another dime in the direction of this mixtape, but because I understood that I was a new MC to Alberta, specifically to Canada, uh, to the world, um, I felt like who's gonna give, who's, how am I gonna make a commercial if I don't make my own commercial, right? If Instagram is, I have followers specifically because these followers are a part of my community, well, I gotta give my community content. Um, I understood that I needed a clubhouse. I understood that I needed a TikTok. I understood that, you know, there were these things that were going to be at my disposal that would work for me. But I also understood that these things were not going to work for me until I put in the work for me. So besides my mixtape that I had dropped, uh, that I named the statement, um, I then came up with the idea of shooting five videos this year. Um, and I named, I named that project my letter to hip hop. I named that project my letter to hip hop. Um, more specifically, obviously, because I used a lot of, I used a lot of, um, <sighs> I used the hip hop that was from the past. I, I'm just, I, I, I did take a few, I did take a few songs, or sorry, I did take a few beats <laughs> that, um, that were, that were newer. So I, I messed with a Drake beat. I messed with a Tory Lanez beat. And I got uh, another another female artist, a newer female artist, that I had messed with one of her beats. Actually, the way I, how I wrote that one was I, I was um, responding back to actually what she said because I felt like as a female artist, oh my god, you know this person is missing a female rapper with her in the song, right? Um, anyway, Ryan had mentioned that you know you didn't need you don't need to spend not another dime. You, you've done all this work and, you know, we got to really start focusing on making your own stuff, right? And, and he's absolutely right because, I mean, making a mixtape is great. Um, the familiarity for the people, uh, being able to give them something to hear that they've heard before, I think that that, that is also, I mean, that's kind of key of, of a way to... I guess maybe get somebody's attention and it's it's a formula that I've noticed that has worked in the past right so uh this is why I I I chose this route first instead of just coming up with a straight single or coming up with I mean even though I my the, the one that I released there on on YouTube my first one uh the the video that I released money making business that that was uh that was just a beat that I took off of, of YouTube, one of those free beats just to try a freestyle, just for promotional use, right? And and that's what I got to understand as I, I was moving along, was like most of what I was doing was gonna be for promotional purposes. And, and that's the biggest thing that came out of the course that I had finished, uh, well, the first one that I finished um, out of the stuff that was given to me that Ryan had sent, right? And so, yeah, I think, you know, to make a long story short, it, it, was, it, was, it was his do's and don'ts, and I decided I was doing everything. Or, or not, I wouldn't really, let's not call them don'ts. Let's say do's and you don't have to's. And I did the do's and the don't have to's. Um, because I decided that if I do everything, then something should work. So I chose five videos to shoot. It was really friggin' hard to do. And I made sure to get myself photographers, makeup artists. Uh, you know, I started networking and this, this is all through 
again, a lot of information that was just kind of thrown out to me, right? When we were in a meeting, we, we had a meeting and we talked about things and they were just ideas that was, were, was just being bounced around. And I think the biggest thing, what I think is so funny, the biggest thing for my mentors, because I have more than one and I, and I, and I would like to, I consider Ryan to be a mentor as much as he is my junior. I consider to him to be one of my mentors. Um, I may not respond uh, with all kinds of enthusiasm when I'm being given advice. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, even if I'm not responding with a bunch of enthusiasm, might be very monotone, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm taking it all in. I'm taking it all in. So, when you asked for um, the testimonial a year ago, I couldn't give it to you. Because at that point, I didn't think I, had, <laughs> I didn't do anything. How am I going to give you a testimonial and I haven't done shit? I had to put the work in. And so, outside of releasing the mixtape, I had to put the work in. And I chose to shoot five videos and get it done before the year was over. So, you know, if I'm, if me and Ryan were talking just shy of the end of 2021, so December into January for 22, and then by August, I was done shooting the videos in 2022. We started in April and we finished in August. And there's five of them. And we've released one of them already on on the YouTube already. And, uh, you know, it's only been a couple months. And the traction, I believe, it's moving faster than it was before. The first video was a test. Money-making business, that was a test. Yeah, I wanted to see what would happen. As a matter of fact, I actually shot that video because I was mad. Man, I had a show. We won't talk about the details of the show, but whatever happened at the show, there's all this pent up anger inside of me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to shoot a video. So that's what I do. I get angry. I write music. I shoot videos. I'm really good at it, too. Like, I can't wait for you guys to see everything that's been done. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I just hope. It's not all in vain, you know? I really hope that... I really hope that all the hard work pays off, right? And I hope that this is the first of many testimonials because, again, I do... I do... Uh, I look up to this person, like I said, as my, as my mentor. Um, Ryan, I do. And, you know... It's very encouraging to like, I, I, I guess, like there's this thing with age, right? People will be like, you know, well, when you're older, you're supposed to, like the people who are younger than you, like they're supposed to come, come to you, right? Like you're not supposed to go to them. But being that I was the baby when I was growing up, I was the tag along. I mean, I was the life of the party still, but I was the fucking tag along. I had to catch up to everybody in age. Um, so, I think because of that, that's the biggest reason why I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem hearing intelligence out of anyone's mouth. I don't care how old you are, you can be two. Because I understand that we all have something to give. I understand that. So, I got a whole bunch of shit to give. And I can't wait to share it all. I can't wait to share it all. Um, my first single is done. It's just a matter of getting it out there. 
I'm, I just, I've kind of been rolling kind of slow with that. I know I told you it was done, Ryan. It's been done since the beginning of the year. Um, but I need to do a couple more things, get a few more things just, just right. And then I'll send that over to you. And then we will try, we'll try the next test. Um, yeah, we'll try the next text test that we talked about. And <laughs> you'll have testimonial number two, I'm sure, after that. Because remember, there was you should do's and you don't have to do's. And I finished the you don't have to do's um, amongst while I was finishing the do's. And, um, yeah, what, what, this next, this next stuff that I'm going to get started on, that's going to be mine in terms of, you know, my beats that I'm purchasing on my own and, you know, just being in full control. It feels great. It feels great. So I appreciate everything that you've done to, for, for me uh, this far. And I know, you know, no matter how big, no matter how small you may think it is, I think it's, it's, it's huge. Um, and that's just because, like I said, it, it's, it was simply you telling me I don't have to do something. And then I turned around and I went to go do it. I mean... That's just kind of who I've always been, right? You tell me I can't do something. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. You tell me if I can't do something. Watch me. Just watch me if you tell me I can't do something. Anyway, uh, 22 minutes. I don't know. You asked me for a testimonial. This is more like a short film. Um, like I said, I appreciate everything that this person has done for me. Uh, he, this person literally put the battery in my back, um, and then turned around and told me that he was proud of me. And so that's, that's huge. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, a lot of moments of tears moving forward once this thing works and I can hit the ground running. Because this is, like I said, something, something that's long overdue. I told you, I, I gave, I gave the rascals my tape. I gave the rascals my tape. I told them, yo, brethren, I want to be y'all's Lauren Hell, brethren. And I think that, you know, I probably could have been, but I don't think I was ready. I don't think I was ready. You need discipline for that shit. I'm only just learning how to be on time. <laughs> I'm only just learning. Where's that piece of hair? I'm only just learning how to be on time. So could you imagine? Oh my God. Could you imagine? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I will say I'm getting better. I'm definitely, after shooting five videos, you learn how to be on time. Just ask everybody who had to wait for me. I did all right, though. I did all right. And again, like I said, Ryan, you, you have yourself to thank for the battery that's currently in my back. Because um, without you uh, accepting my request and allowing me to kind of tell you what I was up to, I very well could have still very much lost. I could have been still lost, you know, and around some things that I probably didn't need to be. So, love y'all to pieces. Thanks for watching my short film. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me a year to record this, but again, I couldn't record it until... I had something to say, you know, I really had to give you 
I had to, there had to have been some work done. I had to have accomplished something. And I didn't really think anything was accomplished at the time when you had asked. Um, but yeah, five videos later, my letter to hip hop and you know, what? 12 songs on SoundCloud. And this is all accomplished in just two years. I mean, again, it's been, it was, it was seven all to, it's been seven altogether, but more specifically the last two years I've been completely focused on myself. So I thank you for helping me to stay in tunnel vision. And the tunnel vision is just to, you know, just as far as, as being, as being aware of what needs to be done. And just being hungry, just being hungry um, and obsessed. Hungry and obsessed with your shit, man. You gotta be hungry and obsessed with your own shit. All right, guys, these braids are hella tight. Hope you like my hairdo. I tried to make sure I look proper to do this. Can't just look like anything, you know? All right, guys. I'm signing out. Thanks again for everything. You know I appreciate you more than words, more than words can express.